Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be talking about the concept of anti-Marconikov orientation and free radical addition of HBR is going to be our way of introducing this orientation to you. So, what is anti-Marconikov orientation? Well, if Marconikov is where the acidic proton or the electrophile binds to the least substituted, anti-Marconikov orientation should then be what? Where that electrophile binds to the H or electrophile binds to the more substituted carbon. Okay, uh, there are two main ones that we're going to be looking at. Uh, we're going to be looking at the free radical addition of HBr in the presence of peroxides and another video will address the hydrogenation of an alkene. Okay. So, what happens uh, in, in this uh, free, free radical addition of HBr? Well, we have a peroxide in the presence of roughly 150 kilojoules of heat. It results in a homolytic cleavage, meaning that they both get one uh, electron from that bond. And uh, if we were to introduce one of these free radicals to HBr, what would happen is you would get an alcohol and a bromine free radical. Now this bromine free radical is going to bind to your side that has the least amount of carbons because what's going to result here is a free radical and we want our free radical to have as many possible carbons on, attached to it to be the most stable. So when this bromine attaches, it attaches right there. And when it attaches right there, it creates a free radical there. And then the HBr that was created in the earlier step comes along. And then now the hydrogen is stuck on the more substituted carbon. That's very anti-Marconikov, okay? So that's the basic concept of anti-Marconikov orientation, as well as an introduction to the uh, addition of HBr in the presence of peroxides and heat. Okay, so recap real quick. Marconikov, where, is, where the H or the electrophile binds to the more substituted carbon. Uh, so anti-Marconikov is going to be the... Uh, I think I said that backwards. Take two. Marconikov is where H binds to the least substituted carbon. So anti-Marconikov binds to the more substituted carbon, the electrophile or the hydrogen. I've been making too many videos back to back and need a break is what this shows. So make sure you check out the example videos that are associated with these and of course practice as much as you can if you want to get good at this stuff. You'll see it's not as intimidating as you probably think it is. Right now it's probably just a bunch of different reactions and you're asking yourself how the heck am I supposed to remember all this crap? Uh, but believe me it can be done. All right. So practice, practice, practice. Thank you and have a nice day.